Hey, my Love is Blind fans. Yes, the season is officially over. And you know for me on my channel, this is the best time ever because that's when everybody starts to talk. Now, I know there's been stuff that's been leaking out here and there. But, yeah, everybody got a little bit of something to say, especially now that the cameras are gone. So, what are we talking about in this particular video? None other than Josh and Jackie. And Josh had something to say. As if you watched the reunion, you guys probably know that these two were not there. They did a video uh, prior to being there at the show. But then I guess they wanted to speak out away from the cameras and Josh did just that. And we're going to talk about it. Welcome back to Romance Review TV. It's Lady T. Got an update video for you guys regarding Josh and Jackie. Love is Blind Season 4. And yeah, let's listen to what Josh has to say. I'll come back at the end and we're going to talk about it. Hey, this is Josh. I just want to say that I'm very thankful for the opportunity that Netflix and Love is Blind gave me to come onto the show. How I was portrayed isn't exactly who I am as a person. Those things did happen, but it, there's always more to the story. I grew up wrestling, doing judo, done jiu-jitsu. I've traveled the world doing all sorts of combat sports. I've lived in Thailand. I finishing my master's with a 4.0. Never had a speeding ticket, never been in trouble with the law. I say these, these things because I'm passionate and I'm hardworking. In the pods, I think it all started with Marshall and I, a lot of miscommunication, and I have nothing against him. There's a couple scenes where you see me, I sit back, I chill, I listen to Kwame, Paul and Kwame are talking. I get up, I walk away. In the pods, there's a lot of people telling each other who they're talking to, and I that wasn't me. I didn't want anybody to be deterred by who I was talking to, and I wasn't trying to get into any pissing contest with anyone. One night, it, this was coming to the last days of engagements. I had two girls. One girl told me she was going to break up with her other guy that didn't happen and then i was supposed to be with jackie that night and she never showed up and i had no idea why so then i packed my bags because you can guess if you don't have any dates you go home and that's why i packed my bags so i was surprised to see her the next day and i had told her that and then i told her good things about marshall qualities that i don't have and I'm still working on. And then she had told him that, and this was, there was a miscommunication where he thought, I think, was, I was talking crap about him, but I wasn't. I wasn't sneaking around. I wasn't trying to badmouth anybody. Then I overheard him speaking about me. And I'm pretty sure he knew it was me. So I confronted him about it. And... You never see Jackie and I breaking up because we didn't. I took a step back. I thought that they had sp spoken about getting engaged. Marshall had talked about, yeah, we're getting engaged. Now, I'm not sure if he meant it like we're getting engaged or that's the one. But when he was talking to me, he goes like, I told you about her. I think you're gonna get your heart broken. So I took a step back and I said, like I apologized. I was never able to emotionally open up to Jackie because that's something that's hard for me, especially in the pods, you're just like trying to open up to somebody. And when you have somebody else in your ear telling me how great they're doing, what they're talking about, it's just, it's a difficult situation unless you've been in it. So then when I went home, I had found out that they hadn't been engaged and that she had actually been upset and torn between the two of us. That was difficult hearing. That was very difficult, but things happen and I understand. So I went back and I was training for a competition. I had been cutting weight, a lot of weight because my diet in the pods wasn't the best. Um, and then I got called and I got asked if I would go to Chelsea's birthday party, which I agreed to. 
and I went and I knew the odds were against me. Statistically, anybody that's come up to somebody in love's mind is like, oh, I think we would work out better, da 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 da. They usually fail, 10 out of 10 times. And I would be naive to think I would be any different. But like I said, I'm a very passionate person. And if I believe in something, I'm gonna pursue it even if the odds are against me. Right before I went in there, I had been pre-gaming. And then I had gotten word that Marsha had been talking crap about me, which is obviously true. He said he wanted to scrap me after I had told him that he could be with Jackie and I apologized if I was stepping on any toes. Um, and that was difficult for me to hear, especially I'm already nervous. I'm going in there, I've never met Jackie, never seen Jackie. And then I get this word of him like speaking like he's, he wants to fight me or something, which again, I've done a lot of training in my life. I wasn't worried about that situation. It just, it was hard hearing that. And so as you notice, when I first go in, I have a couple of bad dance moves, but I'm still trying not to focus on what I just heard. I speak to Paul, I say how great Marshall is, but I put his feelings before mine, which like I said, I had stepped back. And then I see him and I see his, his body language. He's staring, he's trying to force his coat on Jackie. And I'm upset because that's when I realize he has been talking crap. And now I'm not very proud of my actions. I'm not proud of how I presented myself. Um, but one thing about me is I wasn't gonna sneak behind his back. I wasn't gonna sneak behind anybody's back. I told him essentially why I was there, but I also had to diffuse the situation because I didn't want us to end up getting into a fight and then end up both going to jail for no reason. I was childish in how I acted and I recognize that. I, um, if I would have known it would hurt Jackie and Marshall so much. I would have, I would have taken a step back and I would have just not have gone, if I'm being honest. That being said, I am sorry to Marshall and Jackie. I think if anybody wants to be upset with anybody, they should be upset with me. Um, I think hate spreads hate. And as we have seen here, he thought I was talking crap about him. So then he started talking crap about me and just like, where does it end? And anybody that's like going on the comments, I really don't mind whatever you say on my page. But the reason why you guys are hating is because you saw me do something mean or you saw somebody else in the cast do something mean. And you think by being mean to them fixes everything when it doesn't and just spreads more hate. So, I mean, I got to say, uh, him saying thank you to Netflix and, you know, the show Love is Blind for giving him the opportunity, he did just that. Um, he says that, you know, of course, he's only human. He's made some mistakes in the process of the filming of the show that he could recognize and he's trying to take accountability for. He did also say that he claimed to never be toxic or ever have wanted to be known as toxic and apologizes to all the people that he hurt in the process of everything. And, you know, he said that he has zero or no animosity towards Marshall or feel any type of way. And, you know, he wanted to say that to him, but wasn't able to go on for certain reasons. Now, that part is interesting. I'm wondering, was it their choice or production's choice to kind of do a split with the two of them, him, you know, uh, allowing Marshall to be on the show? And, you know, of course, those two not. I don't know. I guess it'll eventually come out. That's the crazy thing about reality TV. And if, if you guys know of the two years I've had this channel going on, yeah, two years, three years, I'm sorry, it'll be three years in August that, I, that I've had this channel. 
we try to keep the objective over here. And I got to, you know, I'll do a recap on the reunion. So stay tuned for that video as well. But I got to say that um, I, they really piecemealed the drama and separated the love and talked about the fact that, you know, we don't really get to see what we want, you know, that we see a lot of the filming, all of that stuff. And I'll talk about that in the recap video. But in this particular video, I guess he wanted to clear the air. And, you know, of course, whatever they played to Marshall, they want a reaction out of it. And you'll check that out if you haven't seen the reunion video. And, and pretty much Marshall was like, I know the world want me to react to it, but I'm not going to. I mean, he did respond to a few things with regards to this video. But it's interesting that, you know, that... You know, they weren't able to go and sit across from Marshall and have this type of dialogue, you know. But um, I will say that we got to keep watching because, you know, obviously there's probably going to be more to said. And I'm thinking Marshall is probably want to say what he wants to say on his own platform, on his own podcast or whatever he wants to do, which I thought was pretty darn smart of him instead of letting, you know, Netflix, Love is Blind and Kinetic Content kind of take over and take that dialogue. So he's like, you know what, I'm going to hold my thoughts out. So I'm going to keep an eye out to see if maybe he says something on the sidelines. But, you know, all we can say is at this point, it's been a year, a whole year since they uh, have filmed and they've been done and the, the I do's and Jackie and Josh moving on. So I guess, hey, they still together. And so, hey, it's one thing about me and these type of shows that I recap on this channel is all about the LOV love for me. So, you know, drama. Yeah. Okay, cool. But I'm here for the romance since the name of my channel. So I wanted to, you know, update you guys and let you know what's going on. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Give me your thoughts about what you heard in this video. And like I say, I like to keep you guys updated. And until the next one, like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Bye. Ooh.